Top 5 Muscular Women in the World, Part 56 Hello everyone, I am Keisha and nice to see you all again. This is another video about wonderful female bodybuilders. Are you finding some motivation to take up fitness? Then this video is for you. Our 5 female bodybuilders today, they are all wonderful, even in the late ages. Watch with me till the end to know more about them. Number 5. Denise Hashor Denise Hashor is a beautiful woman who has an amazing physique. She was born on November 8, 1970. She is now working as a fitness coach in California. Previously, Denise's body was much bigger and more muscular. After giving birth, her health got worse and she got more concerned about the weight she was lifting. To be honest, Denise said that she was not comfortable with being a bodybuilding hooker and a mother at the same time. What a pity. She now only weighs about 125 pounds compared to 140 pounds at her peak. Denise stands at 5 feet 5 inches. She used to join the US Air Force. Later, she joined a team and was convinced to try bodybuilding. Her first competition was the 1996 NPC Steel Rose, where she won the middleweight and overall title. Denise appeared in some more contests until 1999 at the North American Championships that she turned pro. Denise was really one of the most popular physique models on the scenes during the late 1990s. So sad that she no longer appears on the stage now. Number 4. Paula Suzuki The woman you are seeing is Paula Suzuki. She holds Hawaiian nationality. Wow, Suzuki looks so strong, right? In fact, she is around 161 pounds heavy. And you know what? Suzuki even broke some world records in bench press. In 1999, at the World Championships, she achieved a bench press of 352 and 403 pounds. Suzuki also gained a record in deadlift of up to 463 pounds. Due to a leg problem, she couldn't do the leg press. Otherwise, I think she could easily make a record for this category as well. Suzuki competed for the first time in 1991 at the NPC Iron Maiden. There, she made it with first place in middleweight and also became overall winner. Since then, she attended every year, with many times placing high ranks. However, in 2002, after the fifth position at the IFBB Chantana Pro Classic, she retired from competing. Still, currently, there is little information of Suzuki on the internet. If you know something about her, comment below to let us know. Thank you. Number 3. Thresa Bostic And now, the third female bodybuilder today is Teresa Bostic, an American professional female bodybuilder. She also has the nickname, the strong powerful beauty or Nubian goddess. Teresa was born in 1969 in Birmingham, Alabama, US. Oh my gosh, take a look at her biceps. They are so big, reaching a measurement of 17 inches. Currently. Teresa weighs approximately 116 pounds at 5 feet 3 inches. So amazing! From an early age, Teresa was interested in sports. She attended the first competition when she was 22. It was at the 1991 NPC Extravaganza and she played 6th there. In 1999, Teresa earned her IFBB Pro card. She then competed in the professional league all over the world. However, she has announced retirement since 2007. For me, and I'm sure many bodybuilding lovers, even when Teresa no longer competes, she is one of the most respected female bodybuilders. Number 2. Tina Lockwood Now, let's meet Tina Lockwood one of the greatest female bodybuilders of all time. She is 5 feet 6 inches tall, with a total weight of around 180 pounds. 
Oh my god, look at her body. It is so firm and wonderful. Tina is always regarded as the freak in female bodybuilding because her body is too well developed. Her calves alone are known to be 18 inches and her thighs are 30 inches. This measurement was taken when Tina was only in her early 20s. So that's just easy to understand why her fans call her muscle goddess, right? Since the age of 20, Tina has been more developed than male bodybuilders in her age in strength and muscle mass building. Tina competed in three shows between 1991 and 1995. That's somehow short. Even so, she has left a great indelible impression on the heart of every bodybuilding lover. Her best performance was in 1994 at the NPC Chantana Amateur, where she won her category and overall title. After leaving bodybuilding, she moved to Philadelphia, but there is no more information now. Number 1. Paula Bercumshaw The last female bodybuilder today is Paula Bakumshaw, who is very well known during the 1990s. Bakumshaw is estimated to be around 55 years old. She has retired from competing since 1994. Many of her fans were really sad when she left bodybuilding so quickly. Bakumshaw is 5 feet 7 inches tall. Previously, in season, she weighed approximately 162 pounds. Bakumshaw's first competition was the 1989 British Championships, in which she won the heavyweight category and overall title. Later, when she stepped on the international stage, she was always underrated. With such a great physique, Bakumshaw should have been placed much higher. In 1992, she entered the 1992 Miss International Contest in massive shape but was marked down. The fact of being underjudged happened again in 1993 and 1994. I think she was very sad then, as since then, she has left competitive bodybuilding. Currently, she is running a gym and working as a personal trainer. She also owns an Instagram, and you can visit her there. So guys, our 5 female bodybuilders today are impressive, right? They all give us a great source of motivation. Are there any other female bodybuilders that you want to know? Comment below and we will find out together. Many thanks for your attention to this video. And now, see you later.